Hi guys! You asked for that? This is Lucius. Which is best described as the Omen the game. If you don't know what the Omen is, you're probably either too young to know or not a fan of horror films. But anyway, we're gonna start the game new. And I don't know anything about this really at all, so let's see what fucking happens. It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than 10. Yes, ma'am. Well, that was uh, pretty bizarre, uh, opening cutscene there. The game doesn't seem to like fraps because it wouldn't start with it on, but now it seems to be working, so hopefully we'll avoid any future crashes, and let's get uh, started. We're playing a very disturbing little boy. Sanctus Dominus! And uh, yeah, that was a pretty disturbing cutscene. HUD introduction. Currently selected scale is on the left. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Detection indicator. I guess it's showing me what all the things are. Current skill level. Okay, and when the pentagrams fall, that becomes a four skill, and that's our power level there. Okay, I guess all games need a tutorial. You also must look around and move with WSD. Pick up the padlock from the table by pressing mouse one. New inventory item. Okay, we're gonna practice closing the door, I guess. Lock the freezer. Oh, we're locking her in the freezer. So how do I select that? I'm not quite sure how I select the padlock. This could prove to be an issue. Metal padlock. There we go, and then we lock her in there. Freezer is not cold enough, so we're gonna murder this person. The tutorial is murder. Sanctus Dominus! Uh, so yeah, we get to murder people in this game. We are the son of Satan, apparently, and uh, yeah. It's the light switch. Is it this thing here? I think it may well be. And we got a wonderful steam achievement, the best things in the world. Go on, little Lucius. Freeze her alive. I think you're fucked, whatever your name is.
<laughs> this is gonna be as good as Dishonored! Oh my god, I'm gonna freeze to death. What do I do? Sarctos Dominus! I'll stop doing that now, but still. <laughs> we can just chill out and go to bed. Fuck the fucking maid. You can tell by our eyes. We are pure evil. And by the raven outside our window. Yeah, more! He's our best friend. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the scariest looking clock I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Did you have an ice time? <laughs> oh, an ice time. Did you get it? Did you get it? I, I got it. It was pretty good, wasn't it? I thought it was pretty good. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene I can't account for it all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. We are pure evil. We are Lucius. We're like Borg, except spelt differently. And the game didn't crash when we got to the loading screen, which is a, a good start. I'm guessing this is our dad. Lucius, there you are, and here I am. To face. Daddy! Dad! Dad! Okay, you can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? I think you're the pipe. I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master overall. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. But, oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There on the desk. Oh, we got a lovely colouring in book. Yeah, lovely, a lovely notebook, sorry. You'll need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Okay, so that's where we see the notes and stuff. Behaviour status, chores. I like the little bear with the pencil, it's great. Use the cursor to select a name from the notebook. Mary. Mary is frozen to death. I should get the padlock back so no one will suspect that it was me. And look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Go ahead. Pick up your new toys and see how they work. Okay, so we got the flashlight and we got some batteries. Better not be shit Gary fucking Dark Secrets batteries, I tell you that now. I appear to have nothing in my hand as well. Such a bright boy. Put the batteries inside the flashlight by pressing mouse 2 on the batteries and pressing mouse 2. What? That's what it meant. You can cycle through items using your mouse wheel. Now you can indeed. You need to do a little something. 
It is important that you are not caught. In the kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. Hey, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't worry, Dad. Don't worry. Believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. No, it's okay. Go no. now. Get Why would the they think I did it? Before the adults wake up. Why would I why would they think I was a murderer anyway? Really? Can I save my game relic? That's a fairly important question once the game has loaded and probably not crashed, hopefully. That loading screen took about a minute. It's pretty bad. Okay, so we need to go and sort the padlock out. Can I save my game quickly? Nope. There seems to be no save points as it were. Okay, Lucius. I need to go downstairs and stuff. And that's where people are, I guess, like where the drawings of people are. So we go down here, down the hall, here. And then we go left into this room. Where? This seems to be right, and then down the stairs here. The map doesn't look actually like the actual game looks, but we'll worry about that later on, that's fine. Beware of crosses, they make you weaker. Okay, I'll bear that in mind as well. So now we go to the left, through the dining room, then down the stairs. Okay, we can do this. We can do this in our fucking creepy... S Who would buy kids fucking pyjamas like this? I mean, they're fucking... Whoops, I went the wrong way. Maybe? I don't really know if I did or not. There was a crucifix on the wall there that seems to be uh, causing me issues. Um, so it's, is it in here? It is indeed. Oh, here's the padlock. Okay, we get the padlock off the door. There we go, Mary. I took the padlock. I should put this in my pocket so no one will find it. It might become useful later. And now I have telekinesis. Sanctus! And uh, I have a pentagram under my feet. And they found the body. Huzzah. I can't wait. I blame my dad. Not my like, actual dad, like this one. If he's my dad. I don't know. Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. She looked pretty good, fucking hell. Really did look Typical good. of women her age. What? Did you talk with the owner of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. I'm so gonna fucking kill that dude. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna shove a padlock up his ass. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. Wonderful. Well, it looks like we got away with that. <laughs> Is this our first victim? I think our next victim, sorry, smoking curls. Let's see how this goes. So who's this dude? I have no idea. How to drink though? Probably an alcoholic. I'm gonna make wild, massive jumps here and uh, claim that he is. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> <sighs> it's a private matter and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Go on, Alistair. Take I all the time. No you idea need. who he is. 
So is he our victim now? I don't know. But let's see. Hi everyone, it's Manganix here. Hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, remember to favourite, and remember to share it on all those lovely social networking sites. If you haven't subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to see more videos of mine, there are annotations to do so. Anyway, bye for fucking now. See you later, guys.